Uh, vegans who don't drive electric are hypocrites. If you don't hop into Discord to debate me, I'm uh, banning you. The idea that you can't be vegan and drive a, uh, sorry, I think I gave the wrong link. Here we go. Uh, click the second link. If you don't hop into Discord to debate me on it being a requirement to drive electric cars if you're vegan, then uh, I'm banning you. What you're saying is just monstrously fucking stupid and you don't know what you're talking about. I'll give you a couple minutes. If you don't debate me in Discord, you're banned. We all gods in here. Are you the guy who says you need to drive electric? Hello? His mic is made of plastic from petrochemicals? Yeah. Okay, I heard you that Hello? time. Hello? Okay, sweet, it's working. Oh, good. So you're the guy in chat that's saying uh, you need to drive electric or else you're not vegan? Uh, no, I, I'm not saying that you're not vegan. I'm just saying it's a bit hypocritical. What's the point of hypocrisy? Uh, I think I, uh, I think I've set the definition before uh, debating you. Uh, it's uh, it's something that contradicts your wants or beliefs. Like what? Uh, I would say it's a contradiction, uh, you know, wanting to give animals human rights uh, and then infringing on said rights by, uh, you know, going against their, their consent to sanctity of their future. And, um, you know, you don't quite... Uh, get consent from them to impose your harmful chemicals that uh, your your vehicles spew onto them. But uh, you know, I'm not I'm not here to judge. I take the bus and shit. So okay, um, you were saying shit in chat. Like, um, let me see. Keep making excuses like carnitards. Did they consent to inhale toxic chemicals? You're exploiting the future yeah. of animals for your selfish want for cool transportation. Um, yeah, because we we have different transportation, right? That's we have electric now. I guess I was kind of judging. My my apologies. That was hypocritical on my end, but. Okay, so I I don't understand what the point of hypocrisy is. So what's the point of hypocrisy? Uh, it's just, it goes against, it go, like contradicts your wants or beliefs. So it's like your well, belief. What's the and, want or belief? The belief is veganism. And by your definition. Right. You so point out, for, so, okay. So my, my stand, my definition of veganism is to grant animal animals the same rights as humans if they were trade equalized. So what's the contradiction with that and driving a internal combustion engine? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I guess we we don't really have the right ourselves to um, choose if we want. Well, I guess we kind of have the right to choose uh, not to be around uh, that those chemicals and stuff. I'm just saying, like every time you drive past a farm or something with you know toxic chemicals and stuff like that, every time you drive past a, a dog, you know you're you're infringing on their rights by uh, making them inhale toxic chemicals or you know, the, the future of the planet, like we already start to see uh, all the damage that we've caused with global warming and stuff, whether you choose to believe in that or not, uh, it's very apparent with the evidence shown um, that you're just, you're destroying the future uh, for, you know, their future home. Like, okay, before, well, the, the, the only way, and, okay, so the only way to actually um, get rid of carbon emissions from transportation is to electrify the transportation system or use uh, hydrogen power, which is technically electric still. Um, 
So how in the hell is me personally going from uh, I don't like driving a com- internal combustion engine car to driving a Tesla going to do anything? Um, I don't think like well, I mean it's not going to do a lot, but neither is going vegan in my opinion. Well, um, it does. You're you're actually preventing animals from being killed. How many animals are you preventing from being killed by driving an electric versus an internal combustion engine? Uh, uh, pretty much. Well, again, it's not like you're not going to stop the the meat trade just by going one person going vegan. I'm not saying you're going to stop the meat trade. I'm saying there is a a um, equatable amount of deaths that you're preventing. By going vegan, I think on average, uh, going from a normal meat eater to a vegan, you're saving around 100 animals per year that would otherwise be killed. How many animals are you saving from switching to an internal combustion engine to an electric? On a daily basis, uh, probably a lot by not putting toxic chemicals in the air and giving animals. Uh, uh, okay, cancer, so care probably. to show me the amount of animals, uh, animal lives you're saving from personally switching from a internal combustion engine to a electric vehicle? How many animals die from cancer a year? Okay, so no, that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking you specifically. If I personally were to make the decision to trade in my Kia for a Tesla, how many animals would that save? Every animal currently alive on the planet for another year or however long that the less carbon emissions keep our planet alive for. Yeah, yeah okay, so that doesn't answer my questions. Uh, my question. Oh, like we can, we can also, we we can calculate this over the life of the vehicle. How many animals die from using an internal combustion engine versus an electric vehicle? Well, it's no, no immediate deaths. I don't think. Um, Okay. So you're you're not saving a single animal. You admit that. uh, I mean, you're not listening to me, though. You're you're saving the the planet Earth. You know their future home. You're you're saving the future animals. Well, you're time. not. You personally choosing not to use a gasoline powered vehicle isn't going to do absolute dick for the planet. Oh, well, might keep it alive for an extra hour. I'd say that's good enough. No, it's it's not. I mean, it's something. It's something. It definitely you know. Doesn't contra- I, I'm not saying drive electric either. I'm just trying to get the least amount of damage possible. I'm also saying, like, I, I fucking walk. Like, I take electric buses. Like, it's, you know, public transportation. So, uh, okay, I, I so say, like, you, you, know, you claimed, quiet. so you claimed that driving a internal combustion engine is contradictory to vegan values. You've admitted that switching from an internal combustion engine to an electric vehicle would not save a single animal, uh, and you've kind of dodged this point. I but... didn't say that. No, I, I said that it would save the planet and you know all the future animals. You know, as long. So you're saying okay? So you're saying if I started driving a Tesla, that would fix global warming and that would save the planet? If I just personally switched to an electric vehicle, save the planet for a bit longer, yeah. Okay, care to show me uh, a study showing that if I started driving a Tesla, the planet would live for longer? Well, you have you have quite a bit of followers, and you know you're a vegan activist, so you know people would listen to you and stuff like that. Probably, we're we're talking about you know. a we're talking about personal choices that somebody could make that would actually have any impact. So, care to show me the study that shows me one single person switching to an electric vehicle would have any impact whatsoever? Would one per? I'm just looking it up real quick. Oh, is this the retard who fucking was complaining that I drew a picture of him sucking some dude's dick? Oh yeah, no. I also, you know, it, it was yeah. And by the way, if you use my face or my name, I would have been able to charge you with defamation. Okay, uh, just because you were using my online online name, that doesn't, you know, you're still a hypocrite. But uh-huh. uh, would one person changing? 
to electric have any impact? Okay, so this guy is just retarded. All right, take care, dude. No.